My name is Lewis Walker III, and I'm a physical therapist at Court Physical Therapy in Louisville, Kentucky. So I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio. I went to North College Hill High School, and I am the youngest of eight. I'm the baby. Me and my oldest brother are actually 20 years apart. I played basketball my whole life. Um, I've been playing since I was five, but my mom said I had a ball in my hand since I was two. And I traveled a lot because of basketball, and I think that's what kind of brought me in the realms of getting into physical therapy, because I always knew that I wanted to be around the athletic population. A memory that I will never forget with my mother was we were at a basketball tournament in Columbus, Ohio, and that's when I had my compound fracture in a different city. Um, so my mother was there with me every step of the way. Um, she got on the ambulance with me to try to calm my nerves. She was very supportive, very encouraging, and that's something that's going to stick with me um, from here on out. I ended up going to North Carolina a my very first year of, of, uh, high, of college. And once that year was over, I actually transferred to Thomas More where I majored in biology um, as a pre-physical therapy student. In order to get into physical therapy school, you have to take the prerequisites for physical therapy as well as get some observational hours with observing and going to a clinic and just observing a physical therapist. Um, and from there, I went to graduate school in 2020 um, at Bellarmine University where I received my doctorate in physical therapy. I love being at Thomas More. Um, I think it was one of the best decisions that I made to transfer in. Um, so I played basketball at Thomas More. Um, I, I played three years. I was a point guard. And the education that I got from Thomas More, being a biology major, was phenomenal. Um, the teachers really cared about me. Um, they cared about everyone. They um, help you out if you need help. You could go to them. They knew who you were. Um, the, the, the relationships that I've developed with my coaches and teammates, as well as friends outside, outside of basketball, was really great and I really enjoyed that experience. So to get into physical therapy school, it's, it's very competitive. Um, so when I graduated from Thomas More, I actually did not get into a single school that I applied for um, because of, you know, the prerequisites, the GPA, the GRE. Uh, those sort of things. So what I did um, as soon as I graduated, I ended up taking course, re retaking courses and getting some experience in the medical field because I worked as a patient transporter and I also got a physical therapy tech technician job to help um, make my application stronger. And then once I applied for physical therapy school again, I got in the second time around. I graduated in 2020, so I, I was in the midst of the pandemic. Um, so it was, it was a hard time, you know, finding the job up in Cincinnati. And I was very familiar with, with court physical therapy. So I reached out to uh, the vice president and they got me in right away to where I can shadow and, and get an interview. And I've been here for about a year now. Um, I see a lot of orthopedic kind of musculoskeletal issues where they're dealing with neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain. They had surgery for the shoulder, they had knee, knee surgery, or they had ACL surgery as well. Make sure that knee don't dive in. Good. So I love that I can bring a smile on people's face. Um, a lot of people who come to me are in a lot of pain. So when they leave that very first visit, they are quite, kind of nervous and scared that they will never get better. And for me to help them improve their function, and be able to do activities each and every day. I love it so much. This look good, Jamal. Even when I get athletes that, you know, shoot me a text or an email saying, hey, I was able to play basketball again. And they ain't doing a wobbly, I love it. What I don't love would be the documentation, the paperwork that we have to do. I think any healthcare professional would agree with me, but sometimes you just have to manage your time and, and make the best of it you know, treating patients and, and making sure you get your paperwork done. So in order to be a physical therapist, the skill that I think is most important is your interpersonal skill, um, building a rapport with your patients, getting to know who your patients are, learning their story, and just listening to them. And then it'll make your, your job a lot easier because then it'll gain the trust in the patient and then they will 
feel more confident with telling you that something's going on and, and they'll, then you can figure out how you can help them. So some opportunities that the medical field has provided for me is that I get to collaborate with um, other healthcare professionals, such as doctors, um, occupational therapists, speech therapists, and it's cool to, to learn and see exactly what those other fields do as well and how we all can collaborate um, to help one individual patient. As well as another opportunity is I was able to uh, exert some surgeries. Um, so it's important for a physical therapist to know why these patients are in pain. And um, after they have surgery, you understand why if you go and watch one. So the advice that I would share with students in order to enter into the physical therapy world is network. Um, I think network is very important. Um, it opens up a lot of doors for yourself and, and also to never give up. Um, as you heard in my story that I, was, I didn't get in the first time. So not giving up and getting through that situation and saying that it's not over, um, I think that would go a long way. If you're thinking about becoming a physical therapist, um, never get discouraged. Um, know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you can definitely do it. You just gotta put in the hard work and determination and anything will be possible. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening to my story. And um, thank you for listening to what a physical therapist does. If you have any questions, please contact your teacher. Thank you.